name is Eva Grindel. My name is Graham Osborne. My name is Kaylon Kennedy. And my name is Shelby Montana. Hi, my name is Maggie Watson. So Puffs was our Advanced Drama Spring production and it was really fun. It's like a spinoff on Harry Potter. It was, it's just a very fun play. It's a Harry Potter parody told from the Hufflepuffs perspective, arguably the worst household. I've never been a part of a show that was really fast paced. I've also never been a part of a comedy before. So having a lot of light changes was definitely something different. The cue sheet was kind of difficult to come up with because it is so technical, the lights, the sound, but overall it was a fun challenge doing it. The message behind it is kind of all about sticking together and like finding as one, which I think for our advanced drama class, we had a lot of new people joining this year. So it was nice to like come together and do a show together and like be one little family. There's so many little pieces of it that are inside jokes and things that you wouldn't necessarily get unless you read the books. And I had like the most fun working on it with my classmates because they're all really awesome people. Yeah, so Mr. Matt came in about six weeks into the school year. So we were like right before like competition and it was a little rocky, but he helped us to really make the show something special. The year started off with some very big changes, um, like with the new director. I at first was a little hesitant, but over time, I just learned how amazing Mr. Mack was. And it was so nice to hear from someone who's actually been in the industry and like worked alongside professionals. I wasn't sure what he was gonna be like. Um, I've had a lot of fine arts teachers come and go throughout high school and middle school. And so I was really nervous, but Mr. McPherson is just like the best. I mean, he's so relatable and funny and he's also such like a really good director. I walked in one day and I saw him sitting there and I was like, who is this guy? I figured he was just a visitor, but then the announcement hits and I'm like, oh, we have a new teacher. So it was definitely, definitely a rough transition, especially being so close to one act competition. But I think that we managed to get through it pretty well. At the beginning, it felt a little uneasy because I was like, I don't really know what to expect going in. But then I felt very secure when Matt came because he's like a breath of fresh air and he was really just kind of the rock to our theater program, and I'm really happy that he came to Centennial. I was like, who is this guy? But eventually, I mean, now I couldn't imagine our class without Mr. Mack. He is such an amazing teacher, and we all love him so much. And my senior year has truly been great because of the theater department. So after graduation, I'm gonna be attending Columbus State University in the fall, and I am majoring in theater performance. I plan on going to school to become a movie director and writer. I am going to Georgia, majoring in music education and music performance. After graduation, I'm going to go to UGA. I plan to major in wildlife science, but I also want to do a minor in theater. After I graduate, I will be attending Kennesaw State University. I will be majoring in data science and analytics, and I will be minoring in theater. Hey guys, come with me to go ask seniors for their advice. Hi, are there any seniors in here willing to give some advice? <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> okay, so I kind of got rid of the hot dog costume because I think it was kind of throwing people off. So let's try again. Hey, you're a senior. Are you up to give some advice, senior advice for underclassmen? Be motivational. Push others. Work in silence. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, Not a senior, gonna, but I'm a super gonna, senior. Perfect. Oh, I like that a lot. Go to your classes. Um, be confident in who you are. And don't listen to what other people have to say. If there's something that you want to do, just do it. Thank you. Are you willing to give some advice as a senior to some underclassmen? Please say yes. Yes. Yay! Okay, any advice? Uh, don't give up. Thank you, really inspirational. Hey guys, are there any seniors willing to give advice? Any advice? Leave. Leave? Thanks. My advice is um, to listen to the advice I already gave. My advice to underclassmen is just take your time and then live out your life. You have so much time here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I say find your senior bestie so you have someone to get you through the year. Um, don't rush things and trust me, don't let people get to you because they will try. Well, <laughs> don't ask for permission. Uh, uh, ask for forgiveness. Great. Thanks, y'all.
Thank you, seniors, for all your advice. We're going to miss you. Go Knights! Your bite of the week is the blue-footed booby. <laughs> There's a bug on my face. My name is Camilo Rodriguez, and I'm a junior. My name is Christian Rashawn, and I'm in 10th grade. Name, Maximilian Gracchus, grade, uh, grade 11. Uh, but you can also, on the court, they call me the ace. I'm Johnny Asherian and I'm a junior. What inspired me to join the team was I really needed to play a sport during high school and so volleyball gave me that opportunity. I, I was watching this anime one time, I needed something to watch and I was watching this anime called Haikyuu and just the way they were running around like touching the ball, like, like really messing with each other, it just really made me want to play. And ever since that day I could just feel like the volleyball knowledge like coming inside of me and it just kept building and building and building until it like eventually like exploded it exploded and then I just really wanted to play. I had been playing club and then middle school before this and I wanted to play in high school and then I found out we had the team so it's pretty hype. Um, the Olympics inspired me to join the volleyball team. In 2021 I watched the Olympics and I thought volleyball was really cool so I started playing. Um, in my freshman year volleyball started here so I just joined the team. What I enjoy most about the team is that we all get together and we have a lot of fun playing games and scrimmaging during practice. Probably uh, the, the thing I most enjoy uh, besides my amazing teammates and coaches is probably uh, the ultimate attack. So it's like, I didn't know this when I first started, but it turns out when you're uh, serving or you're going to spike or whatever, you can call like your ultimate attack. And mine would be like, like skibbity slicer or something like that. So then I call like ultimate attack skibbity slicer. I serve and then I get an ace and we score. But it's like you gotta build it up during the game because you can only use it like once per game. I enjoy most uh, all the fun we have. Uh, playing volleyball is like really fun by itself, but then having cool teammates um, is definitely what makes the team so fun every single year. What I enjoy most about the team is um, like how much like fun we have at our games. Because like even if we're playing good teams, we still um, we take it serious and we'll still find a way to have fun. Uh, this season we've done really well, I'd say, and a lot better than last year. Oh, uh, we've definitely improved. From last year to this year, there's a lot of difference. We were um, struggling a lot more last year than we are now. We've done really well. I think our record's 6-0. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it's 6-0. We've won every game we've played, and we, uh, we've never lost. That's really good. This season, our team, like Max said before, I think we're like 12-0. Uh, we're doing really good. We take every game to three sets. Um, so we, we win a whole lot, um, and I think we're just I think we have so much to improve on, um, but we, we win a lot, so I'm really proud of that. I would definitely recommend that other people join the team. You know, we're a really good team and we really need other people to join so that next year we could have an A and B team. I would absolutely recommend other people to join our team. Uh, boys volleyball is a growing sport and I think, it's, uh, I think it's really fun. I think a lot of people would really enjoy it if they tried. Yeah, I would recommend um, a lot more people to join the team or at least try because a lot of times we don't have enough players and a lot of people don't show up to try out, so. Yeah, it would be appreciated if more people showed up. I would recommend others to join the team. We need a lot more people. You know, uh, there's only like, there's only like a few of us. Like we only have two subs, so we need a lot more people to join. Go night. Go night. Vamos caballero. Your number of the week is 173 death ceiling, 248 non kneeling, 332 octiling, 532 septiling. It's my last day, guys. Remember, I'm a senior. Ooh, skin is like flawless right? today. Right? Makeup is like sparkling. All right. Oh my god.
438 sextilling, 533 quintilling, 432 quadrilling, 538 trillion, 938. <laughs> As the year wraps up, there were a lot of really good albums that I just never thought to review. This is one of them. This is an amazing one. This is a classic. Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. They made it after the death of one of the original founding members of the band, and they made it kind of as a tribute album. Despite having only five songs on its runtime, it's actually really long. It's over 30 minutes in length because two of those songs are... Well, it's really part one and part two of the same song are these really long multiple part orchestrations that tell this story. And it's, it's really impressive that they were able to do stuff like this. Overall, the album is a nine out of 10. My favorite song off of it is the title track, Wish You Were Here. And my least favorite would probably be Welcome to the Machine. Uh, my name is Max, I'm a senior. And some people said that I have senioritis, but I don't really think so. Personally, I don't even know what that is. I think that the government made it to track us. Basically, like, I'm already done with school. I don't really need to be here or doing any of this work. I'm just here to not fail. Because, like, if you get too many tardies, you're going to fail, which... Psh. Sometimes I get hungry, so I like to go to my favorite restaurants, like uh, Chick-fil-A. Usually, I get the four-count strip meal, because it's pretty good. But, unfortunately, when I went, it was only breakfast. Uh, can I have a 10 count chicken minis meal? I already have a job lined up after school. Um, I'm the floor cleaner at Walmart. I work two days a week. Uh, I'm making 50 bucks a week. So I really think I can live off of that. I don't even really need school. You know? like, I, I could just leave. I don't know why I didn't just drop out when I turned 16. I don't, I don't even have senioritis. It's a myth. I don't have it. Your color of the week is Coca-Cola.